Jennifer Pierce joins us live with reaction to the man's long history of violence. Jen. Colby, the latest case dates back 40 years ago. John Washington has been recharged with rape and murder. He was in court today for that case, a hearing that will determine if he is competent to stand trial. The little girl that's 12 wants him to know the pain he caused. Since the late 1970s, Tammy Jennings hasn't spoken up about her father, Newell Waldron's death. I was so devastated. John Paul Washington altered my life. John Washington served a short prison sentence for the killing of Jennings' father. After Washington was released, he was accused of committing more violent crimes in Oklahoma City. He raped and murdered another woman in 1982 and then again in 1984. No. I don't believe he's deserving of a state institution. Instead of prison, Washington was found incompetent to stand trial and spent most of his life in the state mental hospital in Venita and at Griffin Memorial in Norman. He was released into the community late last year. We feel that he is uh, dangerous enough to the community that we just didn't want to leave him out there. The Oklahoma County District Attorney recharged Washington for the 1984 murder and rape. Jennings wants to be the voice for all the families impacted by Washington. I just feel all of us are in the same boat and maybe none of our voices, voices really got heard. And I really feel like the court system and the legal system made some really big mistakes. Now, the district attorney told me last year after Washington was taken into custody, she believes he will likely not be found competent to stay in trial once again. Live at the Oklahoma County Courthouse, Jennifer Pierce, Oklahoma's own News 9.